A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord Our Father In the Old Testament, as in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. God is depicted as a transcendent being, a God who created the universe, chose Abraham to make of him a great nation, saved Israel from the slavery of the Egyptians, gave the law through Moses, and made a covenant with the people of Israel. Through the prophets, he would recall Israel to faithfulness to him, threaten them with punishment when they sin, and promise them salvation when they repent. But in the New Testament, in these last days, God spoke to us through the Son. Jesus, the Son and Heir of all things, teaches His disciples to call God Abba, or Father. God cares for everyone like a father for his children. He provides and sustains them in their daily needs. How human beings should relate with God is contained in the prayer Jesus taught his disciples. First, they should seek God's honor and glory. Second, they should pray for their concerns on earth, ask for their daily needs, for the right relationship with one another through mutual forgiveness, and for the strength to remain faithful in face of trials and temptations. The Lord's Prayer is the ultimate prayer of God's children, taught by none other than the Son, who alone truly knows the heart of the Abba.